Yeah, hey all. <clears throat> this is Ian, and this is a continuation of the first look at the new Will City directory theme. Uh, for those of you who want to see the complete set of videos on this, please join us in the link below, in the YouTube description below, uh, our free community. We're going to be discussing all kinds of cool and creative and colorful ways to use this theme to monetize your community. All right, so uh, just to kind of continue along where we left off, some of the things that I think that are really unique about this theme relative to my listing, which is probably its closest uh, analog, it looks very similar to my listing. It uses a lot of the same basic functionality in terms of Elementor. Um, you know, the aesthetics are the same, but some of the areas that I think this looks like it's superior uh, are the messaging functionality, which my listing really uses, but he press heavily, the notification elements, which are still a bit buggy today. It's the first, uh, you know, 24 hours that this theme has been released. So you can forgive them a fair amount of day one bugginess. As you can see here, my profile picture which might appear very small to you on the YouTube video, but this is actually inverted. It's upside down. I didn't upload it upside down, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, you know, little bugs like that are kind of, you know, a bit of a pain in the rear end. But if you look at the, uh, you know, here is the back end dashboard. Certainly, you know, much bigger. Uh, it's a, this is a larger uh, amount of data and information and volume of, you know, visualization or, or, or a stuff to look at from the standpoint of both a user and a member on the community. So here, even as a user, I can look at my notifications, my messages, my favorites, which you can see here, which is pretty standard fare. I mean, the, the, you know, the favorites are pretty much the same way most themes do favorites. Uh, events, listings. Here's a in review listing that I submitted. John's great jokes. Um, you know, profile information. Let's view my profile. So here's my, you know, uh, you know, data or my bio info. Here would be my website information, links, Facebook, Twitter, social media, and so forth. One of the things I really like about this theme, which I actually asked about uh, on the comment thread about an hour ago, is this. I think this is really going to be a high converting button. Um, you can link this anywhere right now. Again, day one bugginess or day one incompleteness. incompleteness. This doesn't go anywhere. So if you just hit this, it just kind of refreshes the page. But I asked the theme author and he showed me a video of, you know, this can actually be set to any external URL that you want or any URL that you choose. This is going to allow your your listing owners to link to, uh, you know, pretty much any product they have elsewhere, uh, a WooCommerce store product, if they have it here on your site or on their side, their site. Um, you know, all kinds of cool things like that. The reviews are really nicely done here, as you can see. The reviews also have the ability, let me see if I can point this out, as do the events, to have comments, right? So that's pretty cool. So as you can see here, this is somebody else's review. I can just type a comment here on the review. It just adds a lot of interactivity on your on your site. You can see here's me, good karma. Hey there, really cool review. Thanks. And now people in general, logged in people, I'm sure they'll allow this to be changed to anybody rather than just logged in people, but can leave a comment on somebody else's review. All right, so we can see here, the same applies actually on events. Let's scroll up quickly. Here's an event. Let's look at that. It's associated with this listing. Here's the event owner. Links, 
contact and discussion. So here again, I would say, I'd love to attend this if I'm in town. I'm going to email you. All right, and now that should appear, as you can see, on the thread for the event. Again, I think that's very cool. It's a step up from what's available now on other directory themes. I love my listing, the my listing theme. It's great. I'm sure they will incorporate this stuff into their theme as well. But in all fairness, these guys are really robust developers uh, and have put together what I think is a great theme. It's a great price. It's 32 bucks. They're going to do lots of other cool things with this, including adding bookings. They have an app coming uh, in August from what they're saying. So I really think this is a great theme to check out. Uh, and it's, you know, it has its own unique style and flair that is, you know, you, you can't go wrong with this for $32 uh, to build something in a weekend that has a 10x or 100x value that, uh, you know, relative to the time and effort and expenditure that you put into building it. All right. If you have questions, I'm going to do lots more videos on this. Feel free to join our free community to opine below. Uh, we cover lots of marketing related things, not site development things. So feel free to join us and take your project to the next level. All right. Thanks so much and have a great day.